Kickstarter is a funding platform for creative projects, so it's a place where artists, musicians, photographers, filmmakers, chefs, technologists come and bring their ideas to life. The initial inspiration for Kickstarter was had by Perry Chen, who's our CEO, 10 years ago actually. He was living in New Orleans and he wanted to put on a concert, but he didn't have the money to do it. And from that experience, he wished that there was some way he could set some threshold where if enough people wanted the show to happen, it could happen. If not, it, it wouldn't. And together we started banging around on this idea and, and thinking a lot about how it might help artists and, and change the way that people can make things. So someone comes here with an idea, something they want to do, and they put it out to their audience and to the internet. I want to make a record. I want to produce this documentary. And they solicit funds from their community and the rest of the web to help make that thing happen. So maybe $5,000 to go in the studio and make the record. In exchange, people will get things like a copy of the album or maybe someone will play a private show for you or maybe they'll say if you pay a certain amount of money you can do the hand claps on track three. So it's a chance for the artists and for their fans to have a direct connection and to create something together. It really does help to have a trustable structure and there's a difference between going to your friends, your family, your fans, and saying, I need 10 grand to make a record, could you loan me 100 bucks? And saying, I've got this fancy platform and it's called Kickstarter and all these other artists are doing it and have been very successful. And it really just does make it seem like a legitimate business proposition instead of, can you loan me 100 bucks to make my record? Kind of the story of the music industry the past 10 years has been, this growing belief that nobody will pay for anything. Uh, but over 400,000 people have backed a music project on Kickstarter, and collectively they put together $30 million to do it. I think the major labels and you know the music business is baffled by the idea that people would willingly give money for something they could get for free just to support an artist. But actually, emotionally, people get so much out of contributing to artists who have given the music that they love. And this drives business people crazy because they can't measure it, you know, and it's not the same as just like having a single and charging a dollar and saying that's fuck it. I think to date uh, on Kickstarter, music projects have been uh, primarily from smaller artists. I expect that will change in the next year. Um, in general, I think you're going to see Kickstarter become a lot more mainstream, a lot more known, because what's incredible is that you see this support that just everyday people have had, working artists have had, the amount of money they've been able to generate, and that has attracted attention of a lot more established people who look at this and say, well, maybe this is something I should think about being a part of. It says something about the, the collision of the internet and how connected people are on the internet. And then over here you've got the music industry with no capital to give artists. And something like Kickstarter and crowdfunding in general is, is to me going to be the obvious next step. Eventually this is just going to be a tool. It's just going to be one of the ways that you get things done and in, in our mind probably the best way to get something done. Kickstarter and Twitter and all the new tools you're seeing are taking over the business of, of art and audience in a way that's absolutely beneficial to the artist, which is like, thank God, you know, something like this is, is well needed in the, in the collapse of the industry.